Okay, so I thought I'd lay out Violet's clothing. I'm trying to work out what to take, but I think I've kind of cracked it without trying to not overpack. We're going for three nights or four days. Um, this doesn't include what she's gonna wear on the day. So we're gonna, obviously she's gonna wear something comfortable on the day just for traveling. Um, yeah, so I've tried to color coordinate things so just so everything mix and matches, if that makes sense. So with, um, the first outfit or first two outfits um, they kind of mix and match with each other so um, she's got a little t-shirt with shorts that go together but also if it's a bit chilly and she doesn't want to wear a t-shirt she can wear the long sleeve top with the shorts and vice versa with the trousers and the t-shirt um, the shorts are from H&M the trousers are from H&M the tops from next and that tops from next as well I absolutely love it and both of them actually are all Everything's so like multicolored and really pretty. Um, and then I've paired the whole outfit with, with these little, um, or two outfits, should I say, with these little Primark um, sort of pumps. Same here, I've just color coordinated two outfits. So the apple top, this is from Next. I got this in sale a long time ago, about a year ago. Um, but it's so, so cute. Um, yeah, so the top goes with these shorts. These are from Morrison's. It came in a pack of two. Um, yeah, so that goes together, but again, vice versa. The little bird top goes well with the shorts as well. And the little apple top goes well with these little H&M like jeans. These are like soft denim jeans um, in polka dots. And then um, I've put these little uh, little bird sandals uh, with, this, with both the outfits. And actually vice versa, like these will go nicely with this these outfits as well. And also I could put these pumps with these outfits as well. So um, yeah, that's basically four outfits there. Um, and then I packed two dresses. So we've got, again, kind of the same concept of like going for like the red and the navy. Um, this little bird dress. And then this is a little bird dress as well. This one is a bit more of a pinky girly one. Um, and both of those will go well with the shoes as well. Um, and then for jumper wise, I've brought two, two like Jules jumpers. So this one's like really fluffy. Again, we'll go with practically every, all of our outfits. And I've packed a little pink cardigan and I'm gonna pack a navy, not a navy blue, it's kind of like a baby blue cardigan as well, but it's currently in the wash. I'm gonna pack that with, with it as well, just so it will go with more outfits. And it's just an extra layer. You can never pack too many jumpers, to be honest, when you're glamping or camping. Um, and then I've just packed this jumper as well, which is nice and thick. And this is from Jules. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much Violet's outfits for while we're away for three nights, four days. And hopefully it will see her through. Okay, so I'm just going to show you some essentials that I'm bringing for Violet. So obviously a swimming costume. She wants me to take this one, just her new one. So we're going to take that. Um, this little uh, toweling romper. This would be great for like after the pool or just general like playing. Uh, just to throw on whatever. It's just an extra really, isn't it? Um, so yeah, that is a little romper. That's from um, Mother Care Little Bird. That was in a recent haul of mine. Um, we've got a dressing gown and slippers. Slippers with a hard sole because obviously we're going to be outside and I'm sure what they usually do when they wake up is just head on outside. And we have breakfast outside, so um, yeah. And then um, a dressing gown, of course. Two pairs of pajamas. Um, thick and warm, paj uh, warm pajamas is important when camping or whatever, just to keep them warm through the night. And then some fluffy socks. And then obviously underwear. I always pack more underwear than necessary, and more socks. So the last couple of items that I'm going to pack. I was going to pack a big, thick coat but then i just thought you know what we're in the summer it's going to be about 20 21 degrees there's such slight percentage of rain i'll just take a couple of raincoats and i think they'll be fine especially with jumpers underneath if it gets chilly um so we've got one that's basically an all-in-one which would be fine if it does rain because then she could put it on um this would be great just to take out it's from jewels and i got it in the sale for 11 pounds and originally it was 27 pounds so an absolute bargain but it's really really cute and it's a pack -a mac so it actually um there's like a bit here where you can tuck it all in and it turns into a little tiny pouch so yeah that will be quite a good sort of that's quite a good travel raincoat i suppose so i've got that and then i've also got her lined one which is slightly warmer because it's like lined um from next is just the retro print and also um her welly boots of course got to bring the welly boots 
Okay, so I'm gonna show you what I packed for Alistair. I kind of done it slightly different because Alistair's kind of the boy that will just be happy in shorts and t-shirt practically all the time. He would rather stick on a, a jumper than having like long, long sleeve tops on. He hates getting too hot. So I've packed more shorts and t-shirt and less of the long sleeve stuff. But I'm gonna start off with like the trousers, I've got him a smart pair of jeans for like evening for one night or if it gets a bit chilly for one day or wet, whatever. Um, these are his little Jules um, jeans. He's had them for a good year or so. Um, and then these are his surf trouser and they roll up to shorts as well. You can kind of roll them up, which is quite handy. Um, but yeah, these are from Bowdoin and they're really quite thick as well. So they'll be good as an extra pair of trousers. And then I've got three pairs of shorts. They all kind of, again, they all kind of match all of the t-shirts. So I've got the denim ones, which are from um, Next. They look a bit just, just um, distressed. These little H&M um, cute trous um, shorts. They're really, really thin, but they're really, really cute and good for hot weather. And then these ones are also from H&M. They're kind of a bit more casual and comfortable, they're like cut-offs. Um, and then the tops I've chosen, um, this one is from Next, it says I'm kind of a big deal, I really like the green on Alistair, this one's obviously a, like a nautical one which will go with everything, um, a star one that is from H&M, oh this one's from Asda, this one's from Sainsbury's, that was from last year, it's really really nice, um, and then this one's the retro dino sort of skateboard print from Next, and then lastly just one long sleeve top um, and this one is from Little Bird um, yeah so that's pretty much what I picked out for outfit wise and for jumpers I've done exactly the same everything's gonna like go with everything and um, it's Jules fleece which is really really fluffy um, it's Bowden hoodie which is quite recent actually I got this in the sale it's got like the nautical print on it and it's really nice and thick and I got it in the size 7 to 8 so it's really kind of oversized um, so that'd be nice and warm and then this is just a hoodie from Primark it's just in the sort of grey colour the only other thing I'm going to take is this sort of casual casually smart sort of shirt it's kind of cut off sleeves my mum got this for Alistair it's in 7 to 8 but I think it will be okay it looks quite large but I think it'll be alright um, with a pair of jeans just for like evenings just as they're a little bit smarter okay so clothing wise for me I've started to pack things and basically I'm using a big suitcase for like um the kids stuff so all the kids stuff's in one side and then that side is just like my pajamas and um, Alice's pajamas and then towels all at the bottom and then basically outfit wise for me it's tough trying to choose things especially for weather wise as well but I think I've kind of cracked it I might throw in an extra jumper but basically I'm going to go in my um, mum H&M jeans and my Jules shirt just for like comfort and warmth as well just with a nice shirt over on the boat um, and I can use the jeans with all these outfits anyway so if it gets chilly or like rains or something so I can use the jeans for other outfits but I've got my little um, next sort of tapered trousers these are really really nice they're, um, I got them only like a month ago so they're definitely still online um, and then I've got two white tops um, to pair with those um, obviously I can't wear, I'm not going to wear them both at the same time but it's just an, like an extra top anyway um, and then I've got just a navy cardigan this is from Primark and that will go with again with every single outfit um, and then this is like basically one outfit but again it will just it will mix and match with everything so I've got my Tommy Hilfiger um, denim shorts and then my Bowden shirt which is white with the sort of floral and then if it gets chilly I can throw the ASOS jumper um, which has the stars on the elbows which is quite cute I can put that over the top um, and then this is an outfit as well this could be um, dressed up or down I find this sort of top um, is from Peacocks really really pretty um, and then my sort of chino shorts in the sort of beigey colour are from Gap um, like I said that can be an evening one or just a daytime and then I'm going to take one dress which is my Primark dress I really love this dress so I'm going to take that okay so pretty much packed well partially packed I'll show you how I've done it um, hopefully this video isn't going to be too boring but you know it can be quite useful how people pack things um, but yeah like I said I've packed the kids stuff here half the kiddies stuff half kind of mine and towels all at the bottom 
Um, it's quite these quite deep these um, the suitcase and then that side you can see it's like kind of half full I really don't need much more to put in there apart from the toiletries and then I've done uh, towels and um, not towels hats um, sun cream um, slippers and um, dressing gowns for all of us in there and then over here is my toiletries uh, not much more needs to go in apart from like toothpaste and the kids toothbrushes um, but this is basically my skincare I'm going to bring with me. Obviously, I'm going to use that tomorrow. But I am going to bring just the basics. I'm not going to go too crazy. Um, just like a lip balm, um, my Effectla Duo, an eye cream, um, moisturiser, and just this wash, which is a basically a really easy sort of exfoliating mask wash um, for the shower. And then I've got some uh, shampoo and conditioner. These were like small size, so I thought I'd grab those. They were from the pound store. I've got some of my blueberry um, shower gel, hand cream and some body lotions. One of them needs to use up, so that's why I've got two. Um, I've got some of the Michelin, um, or Michelin cleansing water, just one of the small ones. Um, toothbrush, the kiddies stuff. This is the, um, not the Burt's Bees, that's Burt's Bees, um, like bubble bath I think it is. And then this one is the Charles Farm shampoo and conditioner it's like a three-in-one for swimming so i put that in that bottle and then they've got a flannel there i've got a flannel deodorant baby wipes this is full of like girly stuff and just extra you know useful bits and the shoes i'm taking i'm taking my converse my javianas which is just a casual sort of flip-flop for like around the park and you know like swimming and stuff and then i'm taking my wrangler um leather sort of sandals which are more daytime slash evening I'm not going to bother with heels or anything a few extras that I forgot I'm going to take my hair curler um, a, and just a random cheap mirror I don't have any sort of stand up mirror which is a shame really but never mind it will do just for like inside the safari tent um, hair staple wise I'm taking my um, I've got a tangle teaser I'll take that and I'll take this undone mousse which is really really good dry shampoo is really handy if I can't be bothered to wash my hair um, I'm going to take this bag as just a small bag this is from the white stuff um, it's like a really cute leather pouch I love it um, and then my bag um, from Kaleidoscope has been like my go to bag I think it's because I can stuff it with rubbish as you can see and oh, I've got to show you this actually this is kind of a not new I've had this a couple of months but it's my, my favourite like lip balm but it's a bit luxury it's by YSL and it's in um I think it's juicy grapefruit I think it's called in three and it's basically just a really lovely sheer lip balm and it smells amazing and then the other extras I've packed the potty just for you know just in case for the kids it's handy just to have it inside the safari tent so if they get up in the middle of the night it's there so I don't have to like drag them to the local um you know the little toilets locally um got toilet roll you never know when you're going to need that um and then i packed my beach bag which generally is going to be used for like swimming stuff or you know like when we go out for the day um and then i packed coloring and books and stuff for the kids in here this is a new book that i got from the pound store and it's such a cute book got my cool bags i've decided to pack two just in case or just as like an option to have like a big one and a small one um, I've got the kids rubber rings, I've got them some new ones, again from the pound store, seems to be my favourite like go to store at the moment for like absolutely everything, um, yeah, so I'll show you the felt tips, loads of felt tips and colouring pencils. Okay, so I thought I'd show you the remainder of the stuff that I'm bringing, I didn't, I'm not packing like loads and loads of extras, but um, I've just got like the kids blankets, they're going to bring like their, Violet wants to bring this pusher, but it's okay because it folds right down, it'll probably go where her feet are in the car. So she wants to bring her push chair. Um, I'm bringing a potty because it's just, even though the kids have kind of grown out of it and they don't use it anymore, it's handy for those like um, early mornings or in the night wees, just in case, and toilet roll, of course. And then I've got two cool bags, one big one if we're having like a long day out, and then a smaller one, you know, just to have the option room. Um, I've got two of these rubber rings that I got from the pound store just for swimming. Um, oh, I need to stick in the kids' goggles as well. Um, we've got colouring books, um, stuff like that. Lots and lots of felt tips and pencils. So lots of colouring stuff. I've got three books. Um, I've got a new book for them, which is One They're Lost, which is actually a really cute book. And I got that from the pound store, would you believe? They have some really lovely books. So I've got that. 
Um, I put in my bottle of wine. Just as a treat, you know, if I have a glass or two. Um, yeah, colouring pencils, and then obviously that first aid stuff. I added a few extras that you um, suggested, which was a good idea. Um, what else did I put in here? Oh, we've got like a, one of the disposable barbecues, and in this, oh, and my pancake pan. And in this box here, pack some extra essentials that I did forget about. Um, I've got these little paper plates in here, I thought they'd be good. Um, for whatever reason, I've got some foil, got some matches, some small food bags, some of these little skewer thingies for marshmallows and barbecue. Um, yeah, and some like plastic bags. Yeah, I think that's pretty much everything.